once we have uh, made a, a, a library, our own private library, then we can go uh, into the process of transferring information from the uh, Revit model and linking it to our um, Sigma uh, library uh, via a thing called a, a uh, type code. Now, uh, a type code um, would be, for example, if I mark uh, this up here, this it could be this SFB number here or BD Co number or any number actually you choose uh, to make. So the type code is linked to this number uh, column. If you're not working with a Danish VIA template or a Danish international template, then uh, you would be uh, have to establish the the word type code first. And you would do this by going into Manage and into Project Parameters. Um, usually, the international students of VIA work with the Danish uh, template, and in that case, type code would be written here in this list of project parameters. Uh, in my case here, I've done this uh, this drawing in an American template, so I need to add the word type code in the uh, parameter properties. So I write a case sensitive type code and it's case sensitive so remember if you need to print it in uh, by yourself you have to keep these capital letters and simple letters. You go into this area here and you choose identity data you click the radio button to type and you check all the boxes. Once that is done and project parameter is chosen up here you click OK and you can see type code is now a part of the list but as I said if you're already working with a with an international VIA template, type code should already be there. But if it isn't, this is how to establish it. Click OK and you're ready to go. Look at add-ins and from the Sig from the uh, Sigma uh, homepage you can download this this tool called the Sigma Revit uh, integration. Uh, we can pull this out onto the uh, screen here and um, by marking an element, uh, for example the roof, I can go into element properties now and into type parameters and you will find the word type code here. I click here and I navigate to my uh, setup. If this is the first time you're setting it up, uh, nothing will be here so you have to navigate to your price book. And my price book is on my desktop so I'm going to use my, my new price book here open. You can see my new price book is in. Go into value. As you can see my first element is the roof so I have to find the roof now. This is the prefab roof elements and this is the type code. Click OK and you can see my type code is in there. My description of the type code is up here. I click OK. The next step is to find the next element. And the next element here could be for example this piece of outer wall. I go into element properties, type code, or uh, type parameters, type code, navigate again to my uh, my setup is already chosen, I've already chosen my price book there so I don't have to do it again but I need to find now the outer wall, the cavity wall, cavity wall of brick, the type code is there, click OK and you can see the, the type code and the description is now in there. Um, all the other um, walls with the same characteristics as this wall will already automatically have been given a type code. So you only have to choose it on one of the walls and all the similar walls will already have uh, the type code uh, on them. For example this one here if I uh, click on the element uh, properties and go into parameters again you can see the type code is already chosen. Now this is what I do for every single element in my building. So um, if I just may uh, hide this uh, roof element, I have to find every element, I have to mark them, this is now the uh, the floor construction, I have to go in here and I have to find the uh, type code for every element, but only elements that are, uh, all the similar elements will be chosen automatically. So I'm looking at the floor partition now and clicking OK and that gives me the type code there. Now I've more or less chosen all the elements and allocated them all a uh, type code from my uh, uh, library. 
So I'm uh, ready actually now to export the quantities of the materials to Sigma. And I do this by clicking Export to Sigma. And that will bring up this dialog box here. And uh, I have to find a place to save it. Uh, I have to give this a new name perhaps. I've already got a name. I'm going to see if it's going to work with just this name. I might have to change this. And then I have to change the way I want to see my calculation. Uh, perhaps I want to split my calculation up into level first. In other words, into first floor, second floor, third floor. Uh, or ground floor, first floor in this case. After that, I might want to look at the category of elements. For example, walls. And under walls, I might want to look at the, uh, for example, the object, uh, the different building components. This is called object type. And I can keep splitting my calculation up, but in my case I want level first, then category, wall or, or floor or whatever, and then what belongs to wall or floor. You can experiment with this yourself. It depends on how you want your calculation presented. I click OK to that, so that's in place. The next most important thing is to go in and to uh, look for the exported elements. Which elements do you want exported? And if I click on that, I can already see I want my, I've got some floors here. I want them over and I can see I've got a type code on uh, the terrain deck and the floor partition between the first, the ground floor and the first floor. I have some walls. I want those over. So this, in fact, is the um, the category, it's walls, but I have different types of walls. I have cavity walls, I have curtain walls here, I have inner walls, I have foundation uh, walls in this case. So I want those over. You can see the, the, the different, you have the, first we have the level, then we have the category, then we have the building components. Um, I've got some a staircase here I want over as well. Uh, you can see I've given that a type code. I have no type code for the railings so that's not going to be priced, um, but it, it has recognized railings in my drawing because if I look at my drawing I have railings actually in the drawing uh, when I look at them. Well, I can't show you them now, but uh, I'll show you them later. Uh, windows, I have several different types of windows with several different t types of type codes. I have a, a round window in the gable which I haven't given a price. In other words, it hasn't got a type code. It will not be priced. And uh, I have roof here. Uh, which has been given a type code and which will be priced. Once this is done, I click OK and I make sure the type code is written here uh, in uh, its case sensitive as I mentioned before. I look in units here. Uh, pieces in Revit, uh, if I click here I can see PCS. Pieces is translated in Danish to the Danish Sigma as STK, Stück, and meters as LM, Lubin meter or running meters. So make sure that these are also in place, and then it's uh, it's ready to um, to um, to translate uh, the uh, figures over from Sigma. Well, actually, I, I think I need to give this a, a different name. I'm just going to call this House in the Woods. because it's not accepting that that, that uh, name and you might have this problem so try, try and change the name click OK and uh, Sigma should come over and here we have it the Sigma calculation here we have the library down here I can just close down the library for a second and you can see the Sigma calculation as I said we got the building here and we got the level here this is the ground floor and uh, the first category is walls. Under walls, we have the different uh, types of walls. Um, it says uh, it says um, wooden wall here, outer wall. This because originally when I I, I drew this uh, wall in uh, in Revit, I drew it as as a wooden wall here. So you can see, uh, you know, when I when I click it, it, it says wooden wall there. So it's kept that uh, description over here. But in fact, when I click on it, you can see that. Uh, the cavity walls are actually the uh, the quantities are taken out of the cavity walls. So we have the level, we have the category walls, and we have the different types of walls or the different type of building components. That's what we chose when we uh, we chose to uh, export. And uh, and also the curtain walls here. If I look at the curtain walls, the the quantities are taken out, and the block work, the quantities are taken out, but the price is not taken out yet. So in order to get the price, I need to go into library up here. I need to go into update, and I need to navigate 
to my uh, desktop and find my new price book and click OK to that and then OK and we should now be able to see uh, the prices coming in. Here, here we can see the prices of uh, the different uh, categories in this case here this is the category of walls uh, this is the building component uh, category or the building component uh, for for the uh, outer walls and for the whole house you get the price up here so the price right now with this limited uh, library not including the building site not including the electrics not including the heating and not including the elements I haven't priced the price is as uh, shown in this Sigma calculation uh, 940,000 if I go into the uh, the final uh, result here you can see the price here is ex including VAT 1.1 million but I do not have any um, contribution margin I need to put in a contribution margin margin in order to do that I click on this and uh, I can see I have in Danish it says here hire of, uh, of uh, equipment wages and materials I need to first of all click here to put in an automatic uh, margin go into uh, options here and insert a uh, uh, an item here called margin I'll write margin here and click OK to that then I can go and give the margin a percentage for example this area here which is uh, higher I can I can call um, um, for example three percent I'm just putting uh, numbers in here uh, at will uh, wages that might be five percent margin on wages and um, sorry that that was should have been materials I believe actually I think I'm gonna not translate these because this is gonna give me a problem uh, I'm going to go into here and I'm going to put in the uh, the margin as I said before and um, just stick to this Danish version here because in the English version of uh, of uh, Sigma uh, these might already be translated I can't remember actually but um, I'm just going to put in the uh, margin for for hire and the margin for wages and I'm just going to put in the margin here for materials just to name a few figures here click OK and you can see the margins in here so the price the real price including the margin is you can see the margin in this column here um, is um, 1.36 million and uh, remember this is not including the building side not including the electrics or the heat installations or ventilation so you'll have to work on tho those separately but that concludes this uh, video.